So welcome everyone, Diana Hunter here, and it's my absolute pleasure and privilege to be introducing our very special guest speaker this morning, Sharon Whiteman. Now Sharon uh, was introduced to Manatech 22 years ago when the company first opened in Australia. And uh, she has uh, lived her heart and soul through this business, delivering uh, the message of the nutritional technologies, the powerful nutritional technologies that this company have developed, and also the story of the lifestyle opportunity. Uh, prior to this, Sharon had firsthand education uh, with the Robert and Kim Kiyosaki team. You may have heard of them. They're international educators in finance and business. And uh, Robert Kiyosaki is the author of uh, the top-selling uh, Rich Dad series. And she studied with them for almost a decade throughout the 90s. And that's where she learned uh, the strategies of mindset and action and how to be financially literate. She's very passionate about making sure that others have this same opportunity. Uh, if you've been on our Saturday morning calls anytime in the last, uh, I think it's about 18 years, you'll know that Sharon's a consummate educator and communicator and has provided business education via these weekly global conference calls and now webinars, interviewing hundreds of leading business educators since, uh, well, 2003, there we have it. Uh, Sharon says, we all have to commit to making the world a better place. And she certainly lives, lives that talk. Better wellness, better lifestyle and a fulfilling purpose. And a home business with Manatech is the perfect choice. So thank you, Sharon. Thanks for being here. Looking, I'm going to sit back, take notes and look forward to your presentation this morning. Thank you so very much, Anna. Um, that was very generous and kind of you. And yes, I am driven uh, by contribution. Uh, my highest values are integrity and contribution. So um, it's my definitely a privilege to be here with each and every one of you. And, you know, my experience of being part of the Manatech community, whether you're witnessing this as someone taking a look at what we have to offer or whether you're a long time or a new partner, um, that's what we do. We collaborate together to, and we do in this company make the world a better place. And um, I think, you know, at times like this, there's no more important thing to do than to be following your own integrity and following things that work, even if the rhetoric around us is confusing. And um, definitely Manatech is something that you can stand behind and stand for. And their integrity is, it's unstoppable, really. And that's been my witness for the last, it'll be, I think, 23 years in November this year. So today we're actually moving away from us and Manatech. This is all about you. You know, what are you looking for in your life? Is there any gaps, you know, whether that be in finances, in health and wellness, in mission, in contribution, in being part, a part of a, a community that has that integrity that we're talking about? So I'd like, I'd invite you to consider. So now whether you're watching this live here with us today or a recording a friend is, or someone acquaintance has sent this to you because they thought this might resonate for you. The most important fact is of today is what's right for you. You know, is there anything that you're desiring for in your life and you haven't found a way to get there? You haven't found a vehicle or a strategy or you've tried and you're frustrated right now because you haven't been able to achieve that. Some of the things listed on the screen right now are common for many of us, right? Some would rather have a better house. You know, they have a dream that's important to them. Or, you know, they, they're doing okay, but they haven't really been able to take their kids on a vacation every year. Or they're not happy in their career. You know, I know I made that choice. Um, it seems like ages ago now, 20 years or so. You know, I, my first career, I was a, a clinical nurse specialist in critical care. And while we do a great job in critical care, I started to not feel 100% in alignment with, you know, my values with that, um, my first career. And so I made a change. So maybe you just want to have a buffer, you know, some finances left in the bank or security or a safety net or plan B. And I'm going to talk more about that because I'm really passionate about that. So whatever your situation, you know, you may have dreamed these things, but there's been things in the way. You know, whether you feel like you don't have enough time, not enough money, bad luck, fearful, doing something new, you know, I can't do this. I've never, I, I can put my hand up for that one. You know, I'd never 
envisioned myself as a business business owner, but I definitely have envisioned myself as a helping other people. And every step I take in this company, it's helping somebody no matter how they choose to partner with Manatech. So how I was introduced to Manatech, I think it's an important story for all of us is that I was um, unwell. And I think on reflection, um, you know, I hadn't had any education in my mainstream nursing career in regards to a natural approach approach to health and well-being. I didn't understand diet more than the basic things. I didn't understand supplements outside of pharmaceuticals. Obviously in critical care areas, pharmaceuticals are important, but in maintaining your bodily health, they're not, and it's not the only answer I've learned, but I didn't know that then. And I had succumbed probably because I also, my last, well, in the last couple positions I had, my second last position, I was an anesthetic uh, sister, as you call it in Australia, in open heart theater um, at Prince Henry Hospital before it shut down. So I was exposed to a lot of anesthetic tasks. I also lived in a very cold, damp and moldy house, which I didn't recognize the dangers of at that time. And over the following years, and then I got a job, uh, my last job in, in nursing, last full-time job, I was uh, the uh, nursing unit manager of a chronic fatigue uh, clinic. It was a pilot program in Manly, Sydney. And so in there, I learned a lot about natural health, right? And, and the threats on our well-being. And so following that job, I realized that I was declining in health in ways, you know, I was, as a nurse, you just do it, right? You, you put your needs aside and you just do that. And I realized I'd come, come sort of to day zero of being able to continue to do that. I was diagnosed with a lot of things, but, you know, big picture, it was a fatiguing illness and I would, ended up on a disability pension and I slept oh, 12 hours, I'd get up for two or three and slept another five or six hours and be up for two or three. So I was sleeping more of the day than I was awake. And I met some women at a dinner party and it was a pivotal moment in my life. I can still remember the table. I can still remember looking around. And these women said, you need to learn about these products. They're just coming to Australia. I was so skeptical. I thought, oh, you know, why am I hearing about a new technology for my well-being or my health challenge? at a dinner party, you know, if it was so amazing, I would already know about it. And I learned a lot from that personal arrogance of mine, um, because I didn't know what I didn't know. And so I, they, they said, listen, no pressure, you know, it's no pressure, but I would, you know, would you take a look at the information? If it makes sense to you, great. And if not, then there's no harm done. And I thought, well, I can't say no to that. <laughs> It'd be a bit embarrassing. So I did. And I still remember sitting in my car, listening to a cassette tape and going, oh my God, you know, this makes sense to me. You know, if, if, if the foundation of my nutritional well-being in my cells isn't on track, how can I expect to be healthy? And even if it wasn't the total solution to my current health challenge, it had to be part of, of the foundation of, of recovery. And so I took the leap. It was really scary because we didn't have income. Obviously, I was um, destabilized financially because of my health. And um, I never looked back really. Within six weeks, people around me could see an improvement. And within three months, I could feel it. And within 18 months, I had you know, recovered to energy and vitality that I, I don't think I remember the experience. And I don't think because of my you know, family upbringing, you know, we're just, some people might identify with this, just go to the doctor and do what they tell you to do. Because of my nursing career, I didn't realize I had a lot of power in my own hands to affect my daily well-being. And, you know, I've never looked back in that. So today we're talking about the business with Manatech. And, you know, you can take a look at this, take this information and integrate all or none of it. It's really up to you. But I know this education changed my life. And as Diana said when she introduced me, I had the privilege again of um, working on a team, the company was, the first company was called Business Plus and then Palo Events. And we supported events all across Australia. So after nursing <laughs> and after I recovered, this is where I ended up in, in doing financial education with Robert and Kim Kiyosaki and a whole team of their educators. And in that, I learned about residual income and about the way cash flow happens. So it's really, you know, take a look at this and look at your situation. So Robert Kiyosaki um, is known for educating people on this cash flow quadrant, which was what you see on the bottom. So basically, there's four quadrants, and that there's a real delineation between the right side of that those quadrants and the left side. So on the left, you have E for employment. So that's 
the majority of people. And then you have self-employed people. And that would include doctors, lawyers, accountants, uh, small business, you know, sole traders kind of thing. And 90% of people on the planet live on that side of the quadrant and they control or have charge of 10% of global wealth. So basically, whether you're an employee to a company or whether you're self-employed, you're trading time for money. Now, that there's absolutely no shame in that. There's nothing wrong with that. If, you know, for people that are passionate and happy, that's fantastic. The key that Kiyosaki would educate and, you know, more educators following his, um, you know, he is one of the founders of teaching everyday people what they could do to change their financial situation. But the key is then is to earn, save more than you earn. Sorry, whatever you earn, save some of it and do something good with that. So do that as an investment. There's ways you can get, you can still be very financially secure. And I did that following um, Kiyosaki with my partner. We developed a, a real estate portfolio. We still worked and we made sure that we left some of that money over that we had for um, investing. And that could be something for our future. Now on the right side of this quadrant are business owners. And for this definition, that's big business, like employees of 500 or more. Um, and they have the ability to leverage their income, don't they? So that they, in, I mean, we just need to look at the, the news headlines these days to see the amount of money some of these big businesses are making and controlling. And then the bottom is investor. So they, invest their money and making their money work for them so and again you can see sadly this is only 10 percent of people on the planet but they control 90 percent of global wealth through this kind of education you know, you, you know if this is your first um, entry to this kind of education um, you can take this and make a difference in your life if you want to it takes education it takes uh, evaluating risk, it makes, you know, choosing something that's right and resonates with you within your values. The other important thing on this slide is even side gigs like Uber, Airbnb, and Amazon, you know, people are developing extra income into the household using those, but they're all, they're not leveraged income in that, we'll talk about this, in that when you don't, you only, again, it's a second job, right? It's a part-time job. And when you're not working, it doesn't bring you income. Whereas on the right-hand side, if you understand leveraged income, you're taking advantage of compounding and leveraged income. So that's, and we'll talk about that more in the next slide. So, and this is a quote, it's quite lofty. It might seem unusual, but if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work for the rest of your life. And that's Warren Buffett. And that's true. Every people can take charge of that and create that in their lives. So that's another comment about compounding, and, and this is really brought home for me by my friend and colleague, Kelly. And you see on the left hand, we all know about compounding interest on credit card debt. You know, most of us have experienced that at one time in our life or on our mortgage, right? So that debt is, that interest rate compounds and it gets more if you don't pay back more than it's correct. Whereas positive compounding, like in a leveraged income, what we're about to talk about, is an asset. So that's the, the good news about compounding. So you can either work for you or be challenged by it. Um, and basically it's about education and then making a choice, understanding the value of leverage income. So if you think about leverage income, 500, say you chose to partner with us in business or you have another leveraged income business and you get an income of 500 to 700 a month and people would say oh that's nothing you know why would you do all this work to earn that but if you think of that income coming every month whether you're working or not because you did the initial work and you assisted somebody to partner either in business or mission or for health in our business then that 507 you would need to have a hundred thousand in the bank in order to be earning that as interest so don't dismiss low level, what you might consider low level residual income. What if, how many families you look at today, if they had an extra five to 700 coming in a month, like the stats show it would stop some bankruptcies, right? Or it could help somebody with that, struggling with a car payment or school fees or family holiday. A thousand dollars a month is the equivalent of 200,000 at 5% interest. So that's a mortgage payment for some people or support for a mortgage payment. Isn't that awesome? So the best leveraged income I'm proposing to you is this kind of business 
where you partner with a company and they do everything on that 58% there. So 41 to 42% of our um, profit in the company goes towards paying us to be the ambassadors in the field, educating, supporting, connecting with people and helping them see what we have, the benefits of that and the helping them make a fully informed decision of whether that's right for them right now in their life. The company does the research and development, the quality assurance, the manufacturing, the distribution, all the hard stuff. It's like a, you know, it's like the headaches of a regular business taking over for them and you just get the good news. You know, you get to talk to people and help people make a decision. Not that saying we don't have rough days. <laughs> There's some rough days in any new important adventure that you choose. But basically, this is it in a nutshell. It's giving the power of financial prosperity at whatever level that is from 500 to 50 to everyday people. So a home business, they're powerful and affordable. Globally, 100 million people are involved in direct selling, about 182 billion in annual sales. It's, it's a few years now, but that's significant. It's like this, if people tell you that this is nothing or it's insignificant, this is a significant market. In Australia, 20% of the Australian natural healthcare market is direct sales or network marketed. 10% of cosmetics, Asia Pacific region represents 45% of all global sales. This is a profession. Now, where we get a rap, bad rap is where, and I can remember, I can put my hand up for this when I first started, is where we don't have education and we not, we try, we go, we're so passionate or excited or whatever, we sort of go in for a sale as opposed to really connecting with the person and finding out what they're, what, what's missing for them, what are they looking for, and then seeing whether we do or we don't have something that's a match for that gap in their life. So Manatech, why would you choose Manatech? Well, people are looking for one right now, you know, and if they, I, you know, if I had an hour to talk to you about our technology, people seriously are praying for what we have right now in this scary health world at the moment. Income, same thing. You know, how many people have been destabilized by the current um, global pandemic and the, the crisis that's everywhere and purpose, you know, the mental health of our society right now is really impacted. And when you have shocks like what we've experienced in the last year and a half people start to reevaluate their life don't they they start to think about you know what am i here for am i what i doing is is this what i wish i was doing and i think that's a really important time to be available to have these you know authentic conversations with people and say you know there is something really good we could be doing together We've got a broad range. Um, we're not going to talk about the technology today, but no matter what your passion is, you know, there's a whole range for weight and fitness and it's healthy and it's health sustaining and it's uh, safe and it, it works, you know, same as our skincare, you know, nobody ever knows that I'm turning 64 in a couple of days. <laughs> like nobody ever guesses that I'm 64. And not only do I credit that to 20 plus years of nutritional glycans in my cells, but also this skincare that is just, a, it's a secret. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I use it, you know, and actually we've moved out of more of the home living ones right now, but I need to update that this slide. But the foundation of all of that is our exclusive nutritional glycan technology. And we do have uh, Dr. Nugent coming to talk to us about that. And, you know, he's the best ambassador for our technology. You can, there's nothing to lose. We have a hundred percent money back guarantee within 90 days. People can try it. And if they don't like it, there's no question asked and there's nobody that can match. So fa fancy if you had a residual income business that has a company with integrity that you could work in your own hours and to the degree of your goals and your, what your is, you. nobody's going to make you do anything more than what's right for you. And you have the opportunity to represent the number one world's best aloe project or product. I mean, it's a match made in heaven, really. We, um, just a bit more about the company, we're, we were founded in 1994. We're in uh, 26 markets. We've got multiple patents. Uh, we have lots of accolades from a business perspective. We're publicly traded, which, you know, in business has pros and cons, but for people taking a look at us, it means everything's transparent. And we are at the very foundation, at the very core of who we are is we're a science company. And that sets us apart, not only our aloe technology, but our commitment to um, efficacy and proof of safety and quality assurance. We've got quality assurance because 
it's interesting when you look back on events and you, you see what happens. Our company, the founders, which was Ray Robbins and, and Sam Castor and Bill McAnally. Well, Bill McAnally was a pharmaceutical scientist. So we started out our nutritional company with pharmaceutical quality, everything, you know, but that doesn't always happen. Sometimes a lot of nutrition companies are started up by an entrepreneur and they actually don't have to, the regulatory for dietary supplements while they're tight in various markets around the world, they don't have to prove the kind of efficacy and quality assurance that we have as just a given in our company. Let's talk about the income a little bit. This is a bit of a crowded slide, so we'll just walk through it slowly. But ultimately, if you go, this is making sense to me, and you've taken a look at the information, you're connected with the person who's introduced this to you, and they're answering your questions authentically, and they have someone to refer you to, which, you know, sometimes that's in the same country or the same locality, or sometimes that's a long distance thing. And definitely, we're always here every Saturday morning to assist you with that as well. So the first step is that you commit and you develop yourself what we call as a business unit. There's a few different names for it, but basically you're wanting to create 500. It's PPV. It doesn't matter. It just means volume of product coming into your business. And you can see as you get uh, 200 or more or 500 more here on the top right here, meaning two active customers take your technology or five, the percentage payout increases. So you don't really need to understand the numbers, but just the steps are you start a business unit, you help with the team that started you, you introduce them with the education that we have through, you know, brochures, whatever's right for that person. You, you know, you really need to know whether they prefer to listen or watch or meet somebody or they like a story or they like the science. And you, we teach you how to do that at every step of the way. Step two, you over time find two people who also want to partner with the, the company for income. Now, whether that's to help, it doesn't matter why, if they want to help people or they just think everybody needs to know about this Allo product, I had this result or um, like, <laughs> like me, I, when I started to get feel so much better, I was power walking after being in that fatiguing place. You know, I thought everybody needs to know about this and poor people in the, the beginning of my career <laughs> that ran into me. But you know, some of those poor people are still here today, 20 some years. And every time they order, I still get a little bit of a thank you in my bank account. So the next step is to find someone like that, someone like me or someone, you know, hopefully someone way better. <laughs> and you partner with them. So you're going to want to help someone else do the exact same thing. So you partner with two people that want to come or want to help people or want to be about something that's about eth ethics and you go from there and you help them do the same thing that you've just done was create your 500 PPV business unit. And as you can see on the right, there's different kind of bonuses that get triggered, but it gradually increases as you achieve. And you don't need to know them. You don't need to understand this. You just need to follow those units, do what your coach or, you know, and if you don't have a coach, that's possible. You might've just found this and your coach might have decided I don't want to do this anymore. And you're still there. There's lots of places to handle that. Same thing, step three, you help two others. Step four, then you're helping people. Everybody just replicate those same steps of making a business unit, helping people with their income, with their health, with their vision, with their happiness, because they wanna be in, you know, away from this world where there's so many challenges right now. So by the time you get down to here, that's where is a silver executive, we call it. We have ranks, um, goals, and to me, I've always been grateful for that because the goalposts to achieve, because if you go out tomorrow and you start, you know, um, your own sole trader business, you know, you're going to mow lawns or whatever, or you're going to start a painting thing or whatever the small business is. Do you think you have somebody over your shoulder offering you little treats if you reach certain volume? No, you're completely have to drive yourself. Whereas this, it's like you're in partnership with somebody who really has your best interests in mind. And if you go for these goals, it's creating you a significant solid residual income. So as that continues, you can see that it's exponential. And that's, this, is, this is exactly that first slide about compounding effect where my friend Kelly pointed out to me that credit cards are negative compounding. Yeah, residual income is positive compounding. It's usually only available to the rich, but here it is made available to everyday people at a very you can start this business for fifty dollars for goodness sake that's just unheard of and you can you you know if you have the drive and that's your goal you could be a top income earner with a fifty dollar investment um you can't get better than that really oops so 
I do need to say that those income, you know, we don't make any claims or that you can there, everybody can achieve this. It does require persistence. For me, it required a lot of personal development because I didn't have the self-belief um, and it requires effort. And you sometimes, you know, yes, you can do it in your own time, but you have to do it. You have to do it all the time consistently. If your own time is evenings, then it's like you put the effort in for the same number of easings. So, you know, we don't promise on income, but we promise if you put the work in and you do the personal development and do the training and show up, you can create the income. The other thing is to know is that the amazing news is that you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So we have events and right now they've turned virtual, which has pros and cons. Like you could always hear us if you're here at the beginning of our call, missing seeing each other because, you know, we've got so many great friends in this community. However, it's now our events are available to anybody and at a very low cost, further leveling the playing field, in my opinion. You know, anybody can get, a, you know, a phone or a computer and catch onto a Zoom education and be part of the whole education and training. We have um, extensive training. Your team will have some. The company has some. What, you know, and, you know, I started to feel like I need to do my own thing. And, you know, my, I, had a, I had a great start in this, this company but then I started to do and so we created our own and we've gone on to do that and pe or you can partner with another team there's so many ways but there's training in included and you don't have need to know everything when you start there's lots you do need to feed your brain feed your mind because I'd say you know this is just a rough estimate but I'd, I'd estimate that 90 percent of us don't always enter this business with a hundred percent positive every day and that but that can be changed and you know what I learned a lot about that by being in this business and a lot about how the power I have over to control my thoughts and how that affects me every single day and that's um that's life's giving isn't it to have that education and mentoring so you're the person that brings you in or the team above them and failing that, because I want, want to include everybody here, if something gone catastrophically wrong with, say, the people that have brought you in or upline from that, you've got a whole company here to mentor you and to have your back. And you just need to show up. And that, that sounds possibly an exaggeration, but it's not. It's true. You need to show up at the places where they're training and offering it to anyone and get say, I'm lonely. I need a partner. I found all kinds of partners that are, aren't in my business. And we back each other up as if we are. You don't find that in other businesses out there. The other thing, I mean, if it can't, it probably sounds like it couldn't get better than that, but you know, every single, I'm so proud to be part of a social entrepreneurial company. So that means that every single sale in our company has a, a garnished amount that goes to help feed a child somewhere in the world that's in need. So I know there's a lot of causes. Uh, our cause is malnourished children. And that's increasing, isn't it, in the instability of our globe. So little aura on the left, you can see there's no question of these two um, pictures of the change in these children from adding nutrition. So some kids are getting food that's not nutrient dense, right? So even in Western countries, there's feeding support by our company in um, sort of financially disadvantages area of the US or other um, Western countries, but we also know Africa and um, Asia and Indonesia. There's a lot of countries where kids, they don't have access to food and there's a lot of uh, loss of parents. So there's a lot of orphans and that's where our donations go. And, you know, I'll be having Sarah on this call soon. Who's the uh, leads this charity, the mission five, uh, mission M5N foundation it is. And the, the stories that she tells of the difference we make to make money for us, to give our body nutrition, every step we take is feeding a child somewhere in the world who wouldn't get help without us. You know, I don't know, brings me to tears to even think about it. So does this work? You know, you're asking me that, you know, this sounds too good to be true. Does this work? Well, it absolutely does. You know, it doesn't matter what goal for you on this picture, whether you want family, contribution, wealth, freedom, relaxation, just a lift up to make your life a little bit easier with the monthly bills that's available with this. And if it, you know, this does work if you work. So if this is making sense to you, but it you know, so is super easy. You can be a partner with us as an associate. So it's very cheap under $100, uh, under $50. And it provides you everything you need to get started. 
then there's a preferred customer you say listen you know what that sounds good but I don't it's not right for me to change my income or I'm doing fine income wise you know and be a preferred customer because everybody needs this technology in their body that you can't get it anywhere else it's a necessary nutrient that the glycans and you thrive you watch I've just had um, somebody come to me who was uh, had started Manatech um, a long time ago, like when we started and then she lost her way and she said, listen, I just forgot about it. Now she's aging a little bit and she says, I need to get back on these products. There's some hormone things that happen for us women. And, um, you know, within a week, she says, I can, oh God, I don't know how I ever stopped these. She says, I can start to feel that well-being come back. And I, you know, she started to feel more in charge of her well-being and that's available to you. And or you can just be a referrer. So, you know, I've had a lot of things happen in my life after I had that big recovery. I had a, a bad <laughs> run in with a tick up here on the Sunshine Coast and I developed full blown Lyme disease in a country that doesn't recognize it and who has a health policy failure. So I've been very, you know, you might notice that I'm quite loyal. Um, I, when once I commit to something and I believe in it, you can't get rid of me. So I'm here in Manitech. And even though I can't do Manitech full time right now, because I'm trying to make sure my children get health care and I'm working to get the government to understand what they're not seeing. And that's drawn me away. I'll never start to stop committing to this because it's the right thing to do. So this is my life on my terms. Um, sadly, it's not my full time focus right now. And I feel conflicted about that. But am I blessed with it? Does my income come in every month anyway? Has, I, has it supported all my products and extra stuff for my family for 20 some years? It has. There isn't anything else that can do that for you. So, you know, the purpose of life is to lead a life of purpose. Um, I live that every day to the best of my ability. It's my commitment. And I invite you to join us. You know, that's not just a quote from Richard Branson. You know, something, someone offers you an amazing opportunity and you're not sure you can do it, say yes, and then learn how to do it later. And definitely, I 100% hand on heart, you know, if it resonates for you, just jump in, say yes, partner with the person who introduced this to you, and we'll look forward to welcoming you future on these calls. So 